Hey, what's up everybody? Daniel here from Never Enough Tech, back with another snackable iPad OS 14 video. I want to talk Apple Pencil. The Apple Pencil is getting a huge boost in iPad OS 14 with Scribble. With Scribble, you can write, I think, just about anywhere you would otherwise type. I agree with Apple that this is a nice option if you are detached from a physical keyboard and already have your pencil in hand. Please forgive my awful left-handed handwriting I'm about to show off. I am definitely still scarred by all the S minuses I received in grade school. Okay, so let's open search and write two plus two. Easy as that. The answer is four in case you were wondering. So you can do this in just about any text field. Kind of crazy. Now let's hop over to my favorite note-taking app, Drafts, and play some more. Yeah, so I'll just start writing and the iPad will convert to scribble mode. Okay, handwritten note. Yay, it works. I can circle the text to highlight and I can just scratch out the text I want to delete. Now a few things to keep in mind. Some critical functionality like line breaks, undo, and evoking the keyboard require accessing the pencil control panel. That's what I'm calling it. You have eight places the control panel can go, any of the four corners or any of the four sides. If you place it in a corner, you get a collapsed version. If you place it on a side, you get an expanded version. If you tap the collapsed version, it will expand and go to an edge. So I want to start a new line and type scribble demo. So I will press the break and then press keyboard and type scribble demo. The scribble keyboard is miniature and most suitable for swipe typing. You can move it pretty much anywhere on the screen and keep it open. As you can type and get line breaks from the keyboard, you may choose to collapse the scribble control panel like this so it gets out of the way. All right, let's head over to the notes app. So in notes, you take handwritten notes and your scribbles are not automatically converted to type text. However, you can highlight as though it's type text. When highlighted, you can move the handwritten text pretty much anywhere you'd want to put it. You can tap the highlighted text to pull up the contextual menu for more options like adding space above. Keep in mind that you will need to use your cursor or finger to highlight drawn text. Don't use the pencil. In the notes app, the pencil draws. It does not select. If we copy this handwritten text, then we can go to a text field and paste it as type text. Boom, there you go. But wait, not done. Scribble does recognize some shapes in notes. So to get a shape, draw it the best you can and hold the pencil down. After a half second or so, the suggested shape will show up. If you don't like the suggestion, just keep drawing. If you like it, lift the pencil. Here are the shapes I discovered messing around. The shape is sensitive to the size of your drawing. So I can draw a little line a little circle, a big circle, an oval, a star, a heart, a skinny arrow, fat arrow, a curve or a curved arrow, pentagon, any kind of triangle, equilateral, isosceles, scalene, right triangle, and I almost forgot, thought bubble. You can highlight, copy, and move these shapes around Notable limitations, you cannot rotate or scale these shapes and they do not paste as ASCII characters and text fields. One last thing, in notes, if you write a time, it'll recognize it as the desire or need and underline it. If you select the underline, it'll prompt you to set a reminder or calendar appointment based on that time. Though it doesn't seem smart enough to understand what you need to do at the given time. Do real people actually use this feature or is this strictly for WWDC demos? Let me know. One more last thing. If you hate this whole scribble thing, you can turn it off in settings or through the scribble control panel shown here, which takes you to settings. My take. I think this will be an awesome feature for many of you, especially the more elegant amongst you that still like writing by hand. I know many of you like taking notes by hand, Apple told me so. The ability to more easily manipulate hand-drawn text and more easily evoke common shapes can be a quite useful tool for organizing your thoughts. But the real promise of these note features will be more fully realized when they are spread all over native and third-party apps. That hasn't happened yet. More generally, a bunch of you probably want to use the iPad as high-tech paper, keeping the pencil in your hand without having to put it down and pulling up the keyboard. Scribble definitely helps you do this. 
Perhaps the most fun thing you can do is go to Messages, write your message and send it, and brag that you have an iOS that your friends don't have. Sounds like my definition of fun. The Scribble feature is a much bigger deal than widgets. Not sure why I did widgets first. Watch my widgets video. So personally, my experience with Scribble is kind of an unmitigated disaster. Being left-handed, my hand is always half off the tablet, hitting random menu buttons, and since my handwriting is horrific, it's often getting misinterpreted. I perhaps pick up a writing utensil to write analog three times a month, ignoring signatures and tips. Quite frankly, my hand got fatigued just doing this demo. I'm pretty weird, but not maybe extremely weird, so I imagine others will have a similar experience. I do love my pencil for photo editing though, but that's about it. If you'll allow me to be philosophical, Apple has really been expanding the scope of the iPad. With the Magic Keyboard release, Apple really extended its range to overlap heavily with the laptop. Though Scribble is clearly a signal that Apple hasn't given up on the iPad being a tablet. They're still continuing to flush out the advantages that a tablet can give you. Portability, battery life, flexibility of use. The iPad is formidable. When you take into account all the accessories, it is clearly not cheap, but geez, is it making laptops look stiff. Gonna wrap this up. Hold on, I'm not done. Catch you on the next one.